with that one. Uh, Senator, you mentioned the health care bill that's uh, making its way towards the president's desk. Do you believe that uh, that bill will make its way back to the Senate before President Obama has to sign off on it? Well, I think so. Again, as, as Judd knows, this is a, a precarious road. And look, th this is far from a perfect piece of legislation. First of all, taking on the issue, is, as Judd knows, er from the Nixon administration, the Clinton administration, going back to the Truman administration, Congresses and administrations have realized that the, the, the present situation could not persist. Obviously, it needed reform and change. And, and this bill has its difficulties. But, but in essence, moving forward on the question of how you include more people, try and reduce those costs, uh, are going to be critical. The idea that we're consuming as much of our gross domestic product, around 17 percent today, and those who are knowledgeable claim that in the absence of some reforms in this area, that number could jump to 30 or 35 percent of GDP, obviously just unacceptable. You can't, a government economy couldn't function on that basis. So my hope is we'll get this done, but I'll be the first to admit and tell you that this is going to require a lot more work for future Congresses and future administrations to get this right. But in the absence of getting it forward, moving it forward, so I'm hopeful that'll happen. But it is hanging by a thread, obviously. One or two votes could determine the outcome of this bill, despite all the efforts over the last uh, number of years. Might be a really good idea, wouldn't it, Chris, to just step back and start all over again so that we, get, we do get it right? <laughs> I think I've heard that argument before, <laughs> John. I appreciate it. Senator, you mentioned that this is hanging on by a thread, maybe one or two votes. Who among your senators who voted for this in the past do you think might step away if it came back to the Senate again? Well, I think it, it, you'd have to have been living on the moon not to follow what's happened over the last month or so in terms of, of, of those who are kind of hanging in the balance. Obviously, my good friend and colleague from Nebraska has uh, concerns about the bill. Uh, my colleague here in Connecticut has had some as well, Joe Lieberman, among others, Blanche Lincoln. They're watching it carefully. And I respect their, their judgment and their opinions. We disagree on some of these issues. But when you're dealing with an issue as complicated as this, where there's many moving parts, as included in health care, uh, there are any number of people that have concerns. I know a lot of the people on the more progressive side are deeply disappointed that we don't have a public option now moving forward in this bill. The House does in trying to cope with it. So everyone feels, I guess, to some degree who have been for this, that they would have liked something different. And that's not uncommon when you're considering an issue of this magnitude. Uh, there would be as many different opinions about what the, what the final bill ought to look like. So it's requiring masterful work, and uh, the president's deeply involved. I spent about two, two and a half hours with him last Thursday uh, at the White House, along with Max Baucus, uh, talking about the bill and, and the differences between the House and the Senate version. So a lot of work needs to be done, but I can tell you the staffs are working literally overtime all weekend to try and resolve those differences. And my hope is that we can get this done. Senator. It